In this video, you're gonna learn what is the customer journey mapping play, pre-work necessary to run the play, how to facilitate the play, how to follow up after running the play, and expert facilitation tips and tricks from Atlassians. It is always a good idea to put yourself in your customer's shoes. How do they experience your products? Instead of just looking at a single feature, you need to see the whole picture. Your customers are taking a journey through your products. They start to solve a problem or want to get a task done. What are their experience on their journey? What are their pain points on the way to their goals? With the play Customer Journey Mapping, you first find out how your customers navigate your product or services and map it to emotions they might have with this experience. Find out how to improve the user experience from beginning to end and not just in between. Pick a single persona and journey to make it as realistic as possible. It's getting too broad if you look at more than one scenario. You can schedule another meeting to look at more personas or multiple journeys. Tell all participants that you're just talking about the specific persona and journey so no one comes with the wrong expectations. If you run this play in person, you can do it on a board with sticky notes. For a remote session, we recommend using a whiteboard tool where everyone can collaboratively add their thoughts. All right, let's run the play. Introduce the persona and share some background information like, today we're going to focus on Lisa. Lisa is a team lead that wants to buy the new Atlassian virtual reality headset in our online shop. We'll follow her journey from finding the product to making the order. After that, the team should talk about the backstory. What does Lisa expect from a VR set? What's her budget? Why does she need the VR set? Everything you can think of to make the journey as realistic as possible. It's essential for mapping out Lisa's journey and not your own. Now, you can map the journey. Use the sticky notes to document how your customer navigates your product or service. Add a sticky note for each action. It helps if you split the mapping area into different zones. In our example, you could have browsing the store, adding to the shopping cart, log in or create an account, and checkout. Be an advocate for the persona. Don't talk about internal system and processes. The next step is mapping the pain points. Where does the persona feel frustration? Where are they confused? What are the bottlenecks or what are possible places in the journey where the customer could abandon the journey entirely? Now, plot the persona sentiment to map out the emotional journey of your customer. Using emojis makes it actually more fun. Now, analyze the big picture. Talk about any surprises you found and how to improve the experience. At the end, document your findings on a Confluence page and show your journey to customers to get a real life check. Do they agree? Share the page with the team that should know about it and create a plan for how to solve the identified pain points. Now, let's hear some real world tips from other Atlassians. Journey maps should result in truthful narratives, not fairy tales. Start with gathering any existing research. This can help support or validate your journey map. Not all journey maps look the same, and that's okay. The elements chosen to illustrate the journey should be focused on the map's purpose, who will be using it, and what helps to provide the most truthful and impactful narrative. If you want to understand better how your customer feels using your product or service, run the journey map play. You'll identify areas to improve the journey. The journey map is just the first but important step to making your customers love your products.